All right, hello. How are you guys today? We're doing good. It's a good morning. I got my iced coffee as always. And today, we are going to go to town and run some errands and pick up some things that we ordered. And I think we're gonna move the boat soon. So we're gonna scrap some extra groceries and get ready for all that jazz. We have lots of chores, lots of things to do. We're gonna try and get them all done. Holy crap, it is windy. Jesus. end up rowing at like 12 and <laughs> I'm not mad about it. It's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. Sometimes it's a little scary. Like even tonight, people will pull up in their car at night and then like walk around the park at like 12 o'clock at night. And I'm like, what are you, what are you doing? But also we're at the park yeah, at 12 o'clock at night. But here we are. We're, we're the crazy ones. We are the crazy I always, ones. I always say, if you're the crazy one, no one bothers you. <laughs> That is true. When I met Brett and I saw his van, that's like the first thing he told me. It's like, well, I look crazy, you know? You wouldn't bother me, would you? And I was like, yeah, it's a good point. And then I hopped in his van and traveled around the country with him for a year. The van was just this like camouflage roof. I just built it in a parking it was lot. Beautiful. I mean, it was it was something else. It was the best home. <laughs> I mean, we had a great It was an adventure. Well, we're almost to the boat, so I'm gonna get ready to get all this stuff out and inside. Hey, Shelly. Hey, Shelly. <laughs> we love you. Love you. Well, we made it back. It was the best day, because I got a new toy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning. Now we have to get off our mooring today. Let's go do it. Let's do it. We've never anchored before either. This is gonna be our first time. Just go for it. Okay. There's all the moorings in, and hopefully this floats. Let's go, we're in. All right. Yeah, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. You're doing so good. There it is, goodbye. Yeah, maybe we'll just go like right up here and try. Hopefully everything works out okay. All right, go ahead and put it in reverse. So far it stopped us, Marissa. Go a little more reverse, harder. All right, stop. I think we gotta retry it. I'm gonna pull it in. First attempt at anchoring did not work. But also our anchor has like a bag wrapped around it, so maybe that's why. Hopefully, we just don't know what we're doing. It wasn't just a little bag. All right, I think we're tied up. Now we gotta get some line and tie it to the chain like a, a snubber. And I just got the chance to make my ice coffee. What a gorgeous rainy morning. It reminds me of Washington. It's actually kind of really, really nice. It's very pretty out. Yeah, the rope is cold. So, um, we did it. We anchored for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. It wasn't so bad. It was pretty easy, I feel like. It felt very, it felt pretty comfortable. Uh, hopefully this is right. You see, I just passed it through the holes. You guys can let us know if that's right or wrong, but it's down there now. All right, I'm about to measure how tall our boat is, how tall the mast is, because we got to go under a bridge tomorrow. I think we're good. We're just the 32 foot boat, but it's good for us to know anyways. What I'm doing, I'm taking the halyard and I'm going to be connecting it to a rope so I could pull the halyard back down, but I'm also tying the tape measure to it. So I could have just tied the tape measure, but I don't know if I trust it to be strong enough to get our halyard back down. So we got double 
safety here. So I'm gonna tie this and that. So now as the halyard goes up, I've got the uh, tape measure just tied to this, this rope on the bottom. So let's pull that up. Let's go see how tall it is. 40. Well, so there's 40, but I think we'll add, I don't know, two feet for the top. Maybe I'll add three feet for the top just to be safe. So we'll say 43. Now let's measure from here to the water. To get the measurement from the deck to the water line here, I'm just gonna stick this pole out. So it's just touching the water now. It comes over a little higher than the cabin top, but I'm just gonna measure the pole and add that to our extra. Definitely not gonna hit anything then. That's about six feet. We're gonna call it 49 feet, which is definitely, 49's definitely more than we are, but I'd rather that than hit something. So, our boat is 49 feet tall. We interrupt this broadcast to let you know you can buy a Sally t-shirt. Woo! Go to brettandmarissa.square.site to buy one. Yeah! Links in the description below. You could look You could look cool. this cool. Right now, this is your only choice of color. <laughs> so $25, we'll make like three, but you get a t-shirt. We want to give you guys something. Girls can wear it too. Girls can wear it too. Ooh. It looks so good. And feel so good. Thank you so much. Let's get back to the video. Look at all this water we got last night. So I'm about to go get some water. Almost to shore. We have to row a lot farther now. We'll be ready for our trip soon. We'll grab our waters. Filling up. It's not very fast. Now we got to go fill up the shower bag. Look at me, I got the shower bag here. I got my little hose. This would be a great way to water your garden. You just walk around. It's a lot easier to hold it like this. It's my little water bag. All right, now with this untie and go back to the boat. Running. Let's hop in. I better get to rowing. I'm going sideways. See you back at the boat. Hurry, baby, I'm thirsty. It's so much farther to row now. It is. Thanks for helping me, baby. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> right, here we go. Five gallon jug number one. One is done. We got this little gas detector and we're gonna see if it works and see if we have any propane leaks. Let's test it with a lighter real quick. Oh! It detected it. Another tip that someone gave us is to just you like use a lighter. They said that's a pretty easy way to find it, but we'll try this first. We'll use the lighter next time. Let's stick it in the propane locker. I don't think we got any propane leak there. Look at those dark clouds coming. No, don't look at them. <laughs> don't look. So I think the next spot that the line 
Franks is right here. I'm sensing, do we have any propane? No. Then when I open it, will any come through this side? It doesn't appear so. And I think to test it, we should try and open it up, see if some gas comes out. I feel like that sounds like gas is coming out. I can smell it with my nose, and this thing can't tell. I'm thinking it sucks. You ready? <laughs> I think it's not the... Oh, there we go. Yay! I, I feel like that took a little longer than I would like. Okay. okay. Well, there's nothing down there. After a little bit more reading, we had to use the tester. It needs to, like, sit in the area for, like, 30 seconds or so to kind of saturate with the gas. I went back around and tested all the spots that we thought might have some gas, and we had no gas. Get inside, hurry. Get inside. It's raining. Like a poor puppy looking outside. <laughs> I'm just worried. I'm about to get dumped on. Oh, this person, this poor person, Dini. So close. Man, we should be collecting water right now. Gosh, darn it. This is my favorite thing. We're so dry. The Dodger is the best. It's raining. Woo! 27. We're sinking. It's our first day anchoring. It's 27 knots. It's blowing 27 knots and it's dumping rain. This is ridiculous. Is it unclogging? Wow. Apparently we set our anchor. This is going down. Good job. Holy macaroni. What the heck? You want to check the anchor after this? Look at the wind. This wasn't in the forecast. <laughs> yeah, check the ropes. If you, see what you can see, I guess, you know? What on earth? They're reversing. I think they hit the ground. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if we had some sort of water catching system, we'd be good. Look at the skis, but is it cold out there? Yeah. This is crazy. I did not expect our first day anchoring to be like this. It's still just dumping. <laughs> it's going right in front of us. It's a big boat coming right by us. We're about to get waved out. Oh my god! Get ready for some waves. Oh my god! There you go. Dry oh, off, little boy. Poor guy. I saved the bumblebee. <laughs> Come in. Oh, he went underneath. Just stay there, bud. <laughs> Shower time! There's Marissa scooping out the water. It's like a game show. See if you can scoop faster than the than the rain. Look here, Marissa. What? <laughs> Double power. Let's see it, Marissa. <laughs> I think I hear thunder too. I'm still covered in soap, kinda. Oh, oh, oh. Go, 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 go. I'm covered in soap. Is it stopping? Now we did it. That was our first storm on anchor. And it was also our first time ever anchoring. He's still hanging out. Can I get him a little piece of honey? Yeah. I heard they like some well, we have hot honey, so I don't know. <laughs> Should we give him hot? I know. He doesn't need the whole thing. What do you think he's gonna do? He might be hungry. And that poor little guy was getting smoked. Look at that the big straw. red straw. Quarter the straw. We saved him. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Can you imagine if he's he's <laughs> <laughs> the second he flies away, he's gonna come sting Maris. <laughs> It'd be so funny if he goes like this. Still got him. Hey, hey. We just flew 
right in my face. I gave you a bee kiss. Oh. I got a little kiss from the bee. The rain has passed and we can we can relax a little bit. We're not saving bees or anything anymore. Let's see how this works. We, we never use it. Yeah, that should gonna light up that tube. There it is. Boom! It's so annoying. Welcome to Marissa's cooking show. <laughs> Come on in, chef. Pan and I got some aluminum foil. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> Look at the boat. Ta -da. Oh my god. <laughs> I ate all the other ones raw. Does it not fit? <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you don't even record this part. I think the cookies are done. They smell so good. Oh, look at that. We got some cookies and we got some warm coffee. <laughs> These are so good. Baked cookies. Dink. Dink. Mmm. All right, little bit different scene here. This is the same day, two hours later. We're about to take the dinghy around the edge of the boat and scrape some little barnacles off. It's so much colder out now. Earlier today, it was really nice. I'm like freezing. Ooh, bees on my foot. Ooh, I don't know what to do. I saved you earlier. Is that the same bee? There's no way it's a different one. What do I do? Do I kick my I foot? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. But what if he stays and stings me? I'm in a predicament. Guys, uh, comment down below. What should we do? No. <laughs> Hurry fast. I saved you earlier. How did you even get on my foot? <laughs> How would that even happen? Stings don't hurt that bad. It's okay. Yeah, well, you don't have a bee on your foot. The Barnacle Buster 3000 is about to become the Bee Buster. Oh, God. Are you going to scrape them? I'm going to try and just make them fly away. <gasps> oh, no. Did you fling them into the, in the water? Oh. I didn't mean to. Maybe he needed to rest. I'm sorry. I we gave him a chance. I feel bad. All that effort just for me to kill him in the end. Huh. There you go. Dry off, little boy. Oh my god. You <laughs> made me hungry. Okay. We saved him. <laughs> I wish that ended differently. Me too. This is the Barnacle Buster 3000, <laughs> and I'm just kind of hoping it works. <laughs> So, 
over the log, over the second log, down the hill, through the water. Yay! You're so strong. Thank God. Oh! <laughs> I think after this row, we'll be done for the night. All right, you guys, we made it back with the waters. We're heading to bed. We're doing our grand voyage tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fun and it's gonna go great. Thanks guys for following along today and I think some of yesterday. We've had a great couple days. We love you. Thanks for watching. Stay slow. <laughs> Stay slow.